the meeting, gentlemen. Please roll out. I don't know how that would work. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the April 8, 2008 Board of Selectmen Sewer Commissioners meeting. Will the clerk please call the roll? Madam Chairman, all five selectmen are present, as is the town administrator. Thank you. Before we begin this evening, is there anyone that wanted to address the board under citizens' participation? Good evening. Good evening. I'm Susan Rickey, and um, I reside at 20 Glendale Road in Onset. And I just have a quick question. I don't know if it's pertinent now or when the um, questions will come, when the moderator comes before. But um, we've had um, a lot of inquiry from a lot of the people in our neighborhood regarding the um, seasonal police. And they were wondering, a number of the people have been calling everybody. It's been going round robin to see if it could be um, you know, separated as a line item just so that they get to a comfort zone that, yes, that's going to be there, it's going to be voted on. And I don't know if it's appropriate now to ask about that or what measures we need to take in order for it to happen, and we need a little bit of guidance in that. So I'm not sure um, what the response is from the Board of Selectmen or the moderator on how, what, how we go about doing this. Well, I know that the, um, the town administrator had responded. I, I happened to catch one of the emails that said that he wasn't sure if it was going to be outside the scope of the question. So that is something that once the um, moderator is here that we will ask him. But that is on my, my list. Uh, Jane and I had talked about it um, a couple of days ago. Um, because of the emails and stuff, and so it is going to be one of the things that we do ask him right. if that, if it can be done, and if so, how would it, you know, what would be the appropriate way? I don't know if he'll be prepared to answer or whatever, but at least if he's aware that this there's an interest in that, um, that you know, we've had approximately 75 households, you know, contacting us, and I know that the board of selectmen knows it's a, they know it's a burning issue. It's just that the the people that are you know, summer residents and they're coming back, right. you know, they're wondering what have we been doing, what kind of response have we been having, and we want to bring them at a comfort level. It, you know, things don't have to be blown out of a proportion. They have to be done in the right process, and we were just wondering to, you know, what's the right process to do it so it isn't a fiasco when it comes to town meeting, things can go along smoothly, you know, we're not, you know, in town meeting in the middle of September. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so when he comes in, we will okay. ask him because I know that like I said, I, I know that some of us have had got the emails, and right. and I did discuss it with one of the other selectmen about it. So when he comes in, we'll we'll talk to him. And and we like to thank those you know board of selectmen that have responded to our emails because we do appreciate it because that's the best way of you know keeping exactly. in touch with the public. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Susan. Okay. Is there anyone else that wanted to address the board this evening? Okay, um, the, the town um, moderator, uh, I just spoke with him before I came in, and um, actually he asked me if um, we could put him down just a little bit further, because I knew we had a few announcements and stuff. Um, so we'll put him down below. Um, consent agenda, we don't have any bills this evening, and we don't have anything under licenses and permits, but we do have a few announcements, and Jim, if you want to make some of those. Okay, we have... Of course, uh, town meeting, the business portion, begins at 7 p.m. on Monday, April 28th in the Wareham High School Auditorium. So hopefully everyone can make it to town meeting. Uh, second one, uh, there'll be a household <coughs> hazardous uh, product collection and mercury thermometer exchange uh, to be held on Saturday, May 3rd, 2008 at the Wareham Municipal Maintenance Area on Charge Pond Road from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Uh, so we have the um, announcement here early. I know last year I think it was given to us quite late, and I know a lot of people wanted to be able to dispose of their um, those products, as well as the Plymouth County Conservation District will be holding an electronic recycling day. Uh, on the same day, Saturday, May 3rd, Wareham Municipal Maintenance, 95 Charge Pond Road, and that's also from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. And if um, if I can just add that, let me. Oh, I was. You, you want me to add? The, yeah, if you, I would kay. say the bottom part of that, and the, yeah. then the 
second half of the Plymouth one. Okay, so for the uh, mercury and hazardous products, they will accept <coughs> pesticides, household chemicals, oil-based paint, antifreeze, motor oil, spent gasoline, lead acid batteries, and products containing mercury. Uh, they will also accept empty propane tanks. Uh, they will not accept latex-based paint, tires, PCBs, radioactive materials, and explosives. So don't bring any of those. Especially the explosives. And coinciding with the hazardous collection is uh, the electronic uh, recycling. And that is $10 for 15-inch monitors, CPUs, uh, 15 inches and in smaller TVs and handheld electronic devices, $15, 17 and 21 inch monitors, microwaves, 17 to 30 inch TVs and large electronic devices, $25 for TVs over 30 inches and consoles, $30 for washers, dryers and dishwashers, $40 for refrigerators and all other items will be judged by weight. Hmm. All right. Well, Thank Madam you. Chair. Madam. Well, boy, Jane. Go ahead, John, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I had a couple of additional announcements if I might. Please. Um, there'll be a presentation tomorrow evening at the Wareham Town Hall Auditorium by the Wareham Community and Economic Development Authority. Uh, the plan for improvement, um, it's the uh, recommend, pre presented will be recommendations on street streetscape improvements, marketing, parking, circulation, and zoning. The public is welcome to attend, and, um, and all businesses, of course, can come and see what the plan for improvement on the Wareham Village is tomorrow evening. Also, um, the CPA and Affordable Housing are holding a regional workshop sponsored by the Wareham Community Preservation Committee. This is on Thursday, May 29th at 7 p.m. at the Town Hall. And the presenters will be Connie Kruger from the Massachusetts Housing Partnership and Karen Sonnenberg, a housing consultant. And we'll be announcing that one again because it's a little way down the road, but thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, John. Uh, Madam Chair, I just wanted to uh, mention, you know, um, a good friend of mine passed away this morning, Ilo Howard, and um, she was our recycling coordinator. And I'll miss her dearly. And I just wanted to send my prayers out to her family and her daughter, Alana. So uh, everybody keep Ilo in their prayers. Thank you, John. Okay. And actually, you know, I, I apologize because I believe that there was the, um, the one bill of CDM. If we could go back to that, I didn't realize that they had attached the letter. And, and um, John, I don't know if you... This is the one that we were going to vote on, and then we didn't because it was like 93 percent complete or something, and, and mm -hmm. we wanted that. And and I think this may have gone out, if I'm not mistaken. Did it? Is this the one that went out of the email and it said, "Is this enough information?" So I don't know if you've had a chance well, to look I at saw, it. Well, I saw. Is this enough information? But there was no letter attached. So. Um, mm. But do you want to? Actually, at the planning board the other night, I saw Mike Judice, and he was surprised that this letter was not attached to the invoice once it breaks 90%. So um, I was right. But yeah, this, that's, that's all. You get something from the engineer that says something like this, and, and that's fine. Okay. So, so we can vote to yes. um, pay it. All right. So we can I would make, make a motion to accept the bill. Okay. Well. Madam Chair, uh, I move that the board approve payment to New Water Inc., 96A Pond Street, for application 323-03 in the amount of $85,723.25 for pump station improvements, phase two. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. It is unanimous. 